Welcome to Comics on the Cross, the greatest streamers you've never heard of. My name is Spacehawk, and today I'm going to be reviewing Skull and Bones, a Ubisoft original. Skull and Bones is a pirate game that is, it's an open world pirate game um, that is kind of based off of, uh, if you've ever played Assassin's Creed Black Flag, it has those kind of vibes. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm going to start this review by saying there has been a lot of negative things said about the game um, and I will I do want to touch on some of those negative topics but I also want to touch on the things that I really enjoyed so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things that I really enjoyed about the game so I thought the ship combat is actually quite fun um, I think the fact that you can that, that there's like that you could sail around in this open world through these different islands is is super awesome uh, you have the ability to gain different ships uh, with different ship types. And actually, this game is great for multiplayer because um, of the different ship types, there's class, there's different classes of ships. So there's uh, the ship that I currently use is the Hulk class, which is the more of this um, bigger, tougher ship that can take a lot more hits, um, that, that has different perks. Um, so all of these different classes do have different perks. Um, there is like um, like more of the damage dealers, the more of the healers, uh, stuff like that. And so um, this ship is that that I'm currently using is the Hulk. Uh, it's a Hulk class ship, and it's it's pretty sweet. Um, but the combat is just it just feels really good, you know, for a pirate game, for a for a mainly just ship game. Um, you know, one of the things that a lot of people saw that is negative to the game is that it is just ship combat. You know, there's no jumping onto other boats and, and fighting hand to hand, which I will say on one hand that this game um, was never promised that. It was never said that that was going to happen. They've always been very upfront and said this is just a ship game. Um, as far as I understand, that's all that was ever said about it. Um, and I respect that. Like, I, I bought this game knowing that I'm buying a ship game, a just ship combat game. And I think that that turns a lot of people off. Um, but, you know, I do see where in the aspect of just the combat in a, on and on itself that it could use some hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Because um, th that, for me, is kind of a negative that you don't get that. You know, I think this would make this game uh, a lot stronger. Um, and it would it would be a little bit more interesting if they gave you know if this game you could do some hand to hand stuff and I know a lot of people are also saying well they did it in Black Flag why couldn't they do it in this and you know they could have they simply could have but that's just not what this game is this is a ship game now there are a ton of customization options which is another positive for me you know I think it's really cool and there are moments where. You're not like constantly stuck on your ship. There are moments where you sail into ports and your character gets to walk around, which I think is cool. You know, they added, it's not like exactly what I personally would want, um, which once again is kind of a negative that I can't do a lot on these islands. Um, but I do get to walk around, explore like the settings, explore the islands, look at the different views, you know, play with the photo mode. I'm big into photo mode, so this game does have photo mode. Um, but yeah, this, this it, the customization though is, is pretty sweet. You can customize the furniture on your ship. Your character um, is a huge one. Uh, you can customize your crew. You can add pets on your ship. Um, you can customize your ship itself between the sails, the the armor, and stuff like that. And it's it's that part is cool. I love games that have a great customization option. This game definitely has that. There's also a plunder feature. Um, so you could go to these different ports and actually plunder. You're in your ship and you have to shoot different towers um, and take those out, which is it's it's could be a little bit challenging, but it's cool when other players kind of just join you and you're all working together to fight um, in these different combat scenarios. And um, so look, the combat I think is it's definitely its strongest suit. Um, the combat is fun for me. Uh, I think the customization is awesome. You know, I think the multiplayer is great. And those are the things that, for me, are strong. 
Once again, the negatives for me go back to, I wish I could board another ship and fight. <laughs> you know, that that's really a big turn off for me. Um, I wish there was a little bit more to do on the islands. Um, besides, I mean, you can, like I said, run around and stuff, but it's there's just not like any activity, you know? It'd be cool to maybe even do some like little mini games or something, that would be sweet. Um, and then just, I don't know, it, it could be a little daunting at times. You're, you're kind of like, you're like, all right, I got to sail across the, you know, <laughs> I got to sail all the way across and I have to change ships to be able to do this one activity. Um, so, and in, in that I am referring to, uh, when you hunt, you actually have to switch to your smaller ship to actually use the spear, which is really annoying to have to have to do that. Um, so that is a negative for me, but overall I find the game enjoyable. I think it's enjoyable. I, you know, I wouldn't say pick this game up at the price point that it's at, but if this is, this is another one of those, if it goes on sale, pick it up, try it out. I think it's worth it. I think it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I think it's, a uh, you know, I'm, we're, we're also at the time where Helldivers 2, at the time of this review, Helldivers 2 is also out right now. And that is more fast-paced. Uh, it's a very fast-paced game where this kind of slows down a little bit. You know, you could put a play a good playlist on and uh, listen and relax and enjoy. Um, so I'm going to rate this game today a 7.5 out of 10. Um, once again, I think it's I think it's fun. Honestly, it's just silly fun. Um, not the best game out there. It's not the definitely not the best game out there. It's not. Uh, I would not compare it to Sea of Thieves. Um, it is very it's it's very more realistic. Where Sea of Thieves is more hyper realistic with you know cartoony. Um, and but I, I think there are moments in it where you can just have fun with friends. I think it's so much fun. But thank you guys so much for watching this review and be sure to check out some of our other videos and we will catch you next time.